Pretty big storm last night. We're stuck here until we can chainsaw this out of the way. I'm not exactly sure where it came from. Oh, wait, all the way up there. Wow, that's high. That's a pretty big branch. Lucky the car wasn't underneath it. Today, I think I'm going to take the compost that I sifted yesterday. I'm going to place it on a bed, which I haven't chosen yet. I think maybe here. And I'm going to plant cauliflower and or spinach. I'm going to place more cardboard down here where it's blown away. And I'm going to keep sifting compost because I'll have more space because it's going on the beds. From 12 of these shovelfuls of this compost, I get two buckets of nice compost. And half a bucket of sticks, nutshells, bits of egg that haven't broken down, straw that hasn't dissolved yet, stuff like that. Just sifting it through here. Pretty good. Happy with that. That's two buckets of compost laid down. There's a difference between that and that. It looks very pretty. I'm going to keep making compost, keep piling on this bed, see how it goes. This is the plomo gris, the lead grey one. This one looked like it was starting to go bad on the bottom. So I poured it. I'm not sure that it's ripe. It smells like, it smells like cantaloupe. I'm going to look it up, see what I can find. Well, it was a shame about that squash. That was the first big one that grew. But these other big ones over here don't look squashed. <laughs> see what I did there? There's another one over there that's squashed. Misshapen, but I'm going to leave it on the vine. See what happens. Uh, here I planted cabbage and spinach. That's two buckets or 12 shovelfuls worth of compost. Very happy with how that looks. Let's see how, see how it grows. Oh, I'm just punning like crazy. Tomatoes, I took two tomatoes off. Look good. Another one was rotten where it touched a bottom of a, the bottom of it touched a branch so it went rotten. Uh, tonight it's going to be a vegetable frittata. I've taken an old zucchini I had that had got big and yellow and a zapajito which had got big and wrinkly and I cubed them and put them in the oven with some olive oil salt and a spoonful of miso they come up really nice, crunchy and tasty. So we can have that on the side. Tomorrow, Sunday, lazy day. I might do it.